Welcome back to the Fast Lane Lifestyle. Alicia Powell. We with are her fans. fancy your style. I know, right? It's like I'm a super hot girl right now. Yeah. And myself, Asafa Powell. And we have a special guest today. And he feels right at home. Yep. You know what I mean? Because yep. Jamaica is home to, you know, Africa in general. Yes. You know what I mean? And when I'm in Africa, I feel at home. You know, especially you in, in Ghana. Con- you were in the whole continent? Huh? Yeah. Especially in Ghana. Is it, oh, come on, I'm, get, I'm getting there. I'm getting yeah. there. Yeah. And, you know, today, guys, we feel, um, you know, very honored to have, to call this man our friend as well. You know, Wada Maya. That's her name, Wada Maya, Wada right? Maya, yeah. I don't want to call your name wrong. You know, I, I wrote something on YouTube and somebody said, that's not how you spell his name. <laughs> I'm like, all right, all right, cool. <laughs> well, you guys, we have Watermeyer yeah. in the building, and this beautiful wife is behind the cameras, guys. Yes. You will, Don't you will worry. see her we in, a, in another episode. Yeah, chat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Welcome, welcome. Thank man. you, thank you for having welcome, me, man. man. Yeah, um, and thanks for always feeding me with Ghana food. <laughs> yeah, man. I yeah, know, I know, I know. You you come to see me for the food. I'm calling yeah. my friend. <laughs> I'm calling my friend and you're just I'm here sorry, for the I'm food. I'm sorry, I came man. here for the food. No. <laughs> uh, just for the food, you know? Yeah. I, I need to be truthful, right? right yeah, man. Right. Yeah, man food yeah, over man. everything. Don't worry. Don't worry. We, we'll <laughs> always have food. Life. We will always have food, man. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, this man came to Jamaica and he cheated in one race and calling himself the fastest man. <laughs> Dead. In the world. I tell him that he's the fastest YouTuber, so you work with that. You, you, can, you can take that one, the fastest YouTuber. Don't let us start a new challenge and all the YouTubers are going to come say no, let's let's race, okay? Yeah, but it's, it's funny how like everywhere I went to, everyone was like, oh, you're the man who cheated on the race? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. But you've been getting, you know, some love, you know, a lot of love since yeah. you've been in Jamaica. It's, you know what I mean? Absolutely amazing, man. Yeah, man. How does that feel? It feels beautiful knowing that I, I'm not from Jamaica, but um, yeah, you feel like a mini Jamaican mm-hmm. celebrity. You know, I got a new name out here, the African. The African. So everybody go, the African. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's 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 nice, man. Yeah, everybody, everybody just say Africa. Yeah. You know, yeah. in Jamaica, with every once you're in Africa and from from anywhere in Africa, Africa Jamaicans yeah. just we just say Africa. That's it. You know what I mean? But I also see that um, you said it took about like what six years yep. to get to Jamaica. Yep. Would you mind like elaborating why that is and wow how you kept? I mean, you're finally here. You know, we thank God, but that it's a long time. I, I am that guy who never gives up uh, whenever I set my mind on anything. Mm-hmm. But um, coming to Jamaica was something that has been in the bucket list for a very long time. Because when I started making videos and I was like, you know what, I want to go to Jamaica, you know. When I moved back to the continent, Africa, uh, when I started making videos, I started talking about, you know, Africans, you know, in Africa. And the first comment that I started I mean, reading from people where people from Jamaica, and I'm mm-hmm. like, oh wow, okay, I can't wait to yeah. come and see you I guys. Feel, I feel like my brother was in that comment. Yeah. <laughs> my brother, you know, that man is he's yeah, something else. Exactly. Man. Yeah. It's more like there were Jamaicans that were looking forward to see Africa beyond right. where the Western media has been showing them. Mm-hmm. So then my video comes, you know, like come to Jamaica. So I started like doing my research in terms of how to get here. Mm. Um, I realized that I cannot come here straight. I had to go to either America, UK, or uh, Europe. Mm-hmm. But I started applying for visas for these countries. And anytime I apply, I get denied. Mm. Anytime I apply, I get denied. denied. Finally, I got an American visa. I'm like, hooray, I'm going to Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Then I took my two camera guys. They got denied. Because I didn't want to come here all by myself yeah, because yeah. of the concept that I have. Um, I felt like, you know, coming here all by myself would not be productive. So I wanted to come with my boys, man. But they have been, you know, in a way of always applying for visa, getting denied. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know what? This is the sixth year and nothing is going to stop us from coming wow. here. So-, so we chose another route okay. that was Brazil. So lucky enough, when we went to the Brazilian embassy, they were like, oh, what am I? They gave us the visa, all of them, <laughs> everybody. Yeah, right. <laughs> They gave us the visa. But then we go to Brazil, have to fly to Jamaica, and Panama was like, hell no. You're not going to Jamaica today nor tomorrow. Wow. Really? Yeah. Wow. So we're at the airport. I think I even tested Asafa that I'll be in Jamaica this week. Right. Yeah. And then I was at the airport. We got there and they were like, you know what? 
but we just changed the rules for Africans flying through Panama. Yeah. We're supposed to transit for one hour, you know? So like, no, you need a visa in for Panama before you transit in Panama. Yeah. So we're like, you know what? It's just a transit visa. It's easy to get. Guess what? We went to apply. They told us that you need 40 working days. If we submit our passport, mm -hmm. you need 40 working days. Weekends are not part for us to get that visa. So... I was like, I cannot wait mm -hmm. in Brazil for another 40 days. We have to continue. Then we applied for a visa for Suriname. Uh, lucky enough, I posted it online that I'm coming to Suriname. And the vice president got involved. And then, yeah, they got us the visa in a day. Mm -hmm. and we found ourselves in Suriname. But even passing through Suriname, Guyana, Trinidad, Barbados to get to Jamaica... I don't want to describe that at the moment because it might take the whole video. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, it, it was, yeah. It was, it That's was a hell. journey. It, yeah. it was hell. It was hell. And, wow. I mean, and I mean, I always wanted to ask, you know, somebody. So, I mean, this question is for everybody. Yeah. Why is it so hard for an African to travel? Oh, God. Question mark. Ah, that's a tough question. You know I mean, question. it's it's hard enough for Jamaicans to travel because we need visa to go everywhere in the world. But being an African, it's like it adds, you know, there's a, there's levels, mm -hmm. a lot a lot more levels to it. You know, I mean, you guys can post in the yeah, comments, comment you know, below. what you yeah comment below what you think yeah. it is. What you know, I mean, there I think there there has been a, a stigma has been attached. Yep. You know, to Africa. Yep. Over the years, and um, you know, like I said, people generalize. You know, Ghana, Nigeria. If somebody in Nigeria does something, then all the so Africa get blamed. If somebody from yeah. Ghana does something, all the yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. So it's it's uh, we gotta fix it. We have to, you yeah, know, man. and and you know, the good thing is with all of this, seeing your content and the content you're creating is also helping the issue in terms mm -hmm. of like the perspective and yeah. the opinions and the yeah. mindset people have on Africa or Africans in general, right? mm -hmm. in general, right? Mm -hmm. I also wanted to ask you when you said, how did you even get into vlogging? Like let's backpedal a yeah. little bit for anyone watching this and like, you know, this is their wow. first time seeing you, hearing you. I also heard that you can speak Mandarin. Yeah, is man. that true? Yeah. Like, we you? need a little, yeah. You yeah, know? yeah. Like... Who are you? You know, <laughs> who were you before you started vlogging? You know, how did you get and into how? the? You know, like you say, you started. Yeah, I think I got a very long story, but I'm gonna make it short. Yeah, you know, I feel like I need to write a book about my whole. Yeah, you do. Mm. Like, um, so let me start from after high school. Okay. After high school, I felt like I cannot make it in Africa, so I have to exit, no matter what happens. I started applying for scholarships to study abroad. I managed to get a scholarship to study in the UK, University of Greenwich, Mechanical Engineering. I got everything. It was half scholarship. I went to apply for the visa and visa got denied. That was my first visa denial. <laughs> and, oh, man. <laughs> Imagine I told all my friends oh, my that I'm going to the UK. I yeah. mean, I don't want to study in here. Then visa get denied. You know, already I've applied. My dad wanted me to study in Ghana. Mm -hmm. So I applied some schools in Ghana. I got it, but I'm like, I'm not going. No matter what happens, I'll get out of this country. Because I feel like I will only make it when I'm out of Ghana. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's, that's the whole mentality yeah. that I had. So I told my uncle that I want to get out of here. So my uncle was like, you know what? Um, I know China. Do you want to go? I'm like, the goal is to get out. Even if it's India, yeah. I, I'll go. <laughs> so uh, I applied for a school, got it in a few days. I applied for the visa. I got a visa. And my father is like, you're not leaving. You must study in Ghana. My father, sees my, that, yeah. my father sees my passport from September to December. Yeah. It's crazy, <laughs> right? Incredible story. My father sees my passport. He's like, you're not going. You have to study in Ghana. I'm like, you know what? There's nothing you can do to change my mind. So I started being a very good boy, you know, planting coconuts in my farm. Because my father is a farmer, you know. Um, anytime yeah. when it comes yes. to like who is be the first person to go to the farm, I'll be the first person. Because mm -hmm. I was doing all I can to change my father's perception that I'm ready to go out there. December, fast forward, my father changed his mind. Um, but how are you going to go to China? Went back to my uncle. He's like, please, I just need my ticket. Because my father doesn't have money. That's why... 
he's yeah, acting that that's way. Right, yeah. So my uncle said, okay, you know what? I'll buy your first flight ticket for you. So my uncle bought my ticket. I found myself in China without school fees. Mm. So I stayed in a room for three months with no school fees. I only had my flight ticket. I'm here. So within that three months of staying in the house, I began to learn Chinese. So, so you were you were you staying with Chinese or you had some in, in, in a dormitory? Oh, I was the staying dorm, in a dormitory, in dorm, and I didn't okay. even pay for that. You know, oh. so I, the school was so kind enough to for me you. to, oh, nice. you know, because so I I couldn't go to school. So you mem- remember, like the semester started in September, yeah, yeah. Mm. I arrived in December. So the December, January, February, March, you missed out a lot. I missed yeah. out, so I was studying Chinese. I guess the people that I was studying Chinese with, the women that clean our you know, our dormitory. dormitory. So when mm-hmm. they come, they see me. So I got a new, the name Ghana baby. Yeah. Like I was, oh. I was like, yeah. <laughs> oh. I look like a kid that time. So yeah. they're like, oh, this is a kid from Ghana. So they started calling me Ghana baby. Ghana baby. So yeah. that's how, like when they come, they teach me. And then I practice with them. Three months, the school was looking for someone, a black guy to represent, you know, the, the uh, our course, like our batch. I'm like, I'm going to, but you have not started the course already. And I was like, mm-hmm. no, I will represent. I represent the, co- uh, the, the batch and I won. Wow. Like with the Chinese lessons. So that's when I, I, I got my first Chinese award without even going to school. Wow. <laughs> so fast forward from there, my father had the money for me to uh, enroll. Uh, that's the first semester. And that was the first six months. That was the only money my father spent on me. So I left China. Oh. Yeah. So I became a lecturer in my university. So I lecture my st- the, some of the Chinese students, sometimes my own classmate, mm. and I get paid. The money was good that time. I also was doing, you know, hamburger. You know, you, you sell hamburgers yeah, at yeah, night, yeah. Oh. you know, hustling. Yeah. Used to sell hot dogs, you know. And um, there's also a job in China called teaching English. So I used to mm. teach English to kids. Uh, make money out of it. And also the school loved me. So they, they kind of like opened a lot of uh, opportunities so, for yeah, me to make money. For you. Yeah. And that's when they recommended that, do you know that they can actually bring students from Africa to China? Exactly. I started bringing them their school fees. Anytime they pay school fees, I get 5% of their school fees. Oh. So what? I graduated. So my father never, never spent any money on me. I did hustling, hustling, hustling. So I... Uh, I finished school. But when I was in school, because like I said, I was doing everything to survive. Mm-hmm. So I didn't want to just go to class every day. Hence, YouTube also. Yeah. So that's when YouTube came in. Um, YouTube came in. I didn't have money to buy cameras, nothing. It was just the one. phone. Mm-hmm. A phone thing. A big shout out to my senior brother. He bought me my first ever phone, Samsung S2. So I used the Samsung S2 for my first ever YouTube video. So we we're on it, you know. Well, we're just. So this was this was after you finished college. No, 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 no. While that you're was, going that to was college. A, when I was in college, that oh. was in 20, 20, um, 2013. 2013, mm. yeah. Yeah, mm. I was in I was in college. My brother bought me my phone mm-hmm. in twenty thirteen. So twenty thirteen, we st- I, I created my first ever uh, YouTube video, and it's actually a real life story. Yeah. So a big shout out to my, my actually my friend is actually married to a Jamaican. Can you believe it? Wow. The guy who <laughs> I acted. That story with. Yeah. So it's a story of a meeting a Chinese lady. And then that scene was so funny. So we created that as a video. Mm. And then it went viral. Mm. And um, we started doing videos again. And people were like, oh, I'm sorry, guys. You guys are not funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it was more like creating funny videos. Yeah. So it was like funny a comedy. Like comedy, more like comedy. Yeah. But when our first video did well, mm-hmm. we went back to do more videos. And this guy started like, <laughs> You guys are not funny. You should, you should stop it. Can you believe that you do one of the videos hurt him? <laughs> Can you believe you do a YouTube video, you go to class and everyone is laughing. Yeah. Right. So yeah. my guy was like, nah, Maya, I can't do this anymore. So he quit. Then okay. I took over myself. I'm like, you know what? I gotta do this. Yeah. So I kept on doing it, and my father found out my YouTube video. And so again, my father got mad. You know, being a pastor son, yeah, pastor yeah. son. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, being, yeah, being a pastor yeah, yeah. son, be like, 
I, I didn't, I, I'm sure the church members sent my father the links video, to my yeah. dad. Some, yeah, they always inform me. They're reporting. They're always informing me, yes. the church members. Exactly. So my dad found out the videos and was like, you know what? I, that's not what I took you to school to do. Mm -hmm. So my father got mad. Two weeks, my father never spoke to me. But I called my mom and I'm like, um, I love this and I really want to do it. I've done all the research. My mom is like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah. Okay, I'm going to take care of your dad for you. Two weeks later, my dad called me. It's like, oh, your mom convinced me. And I'm like, wow. My father calling me after two weeks. Guess what? We need to change the name of the YouTube channel mm -hmm. to What Am I? Yeah. Which means my mom in oh, Chinese okay. to celebrate my mother. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. If anyone who calls me, hey, what am I? I'm like, I'm not your mom, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not your mom. So yeah. what am I? simply means my mom. Yeah. Just to celebrate my mom for you know convincing my dad to believe in that. So dream. that's a um, that's a Chinese word. Yeah, Chinese word. Chinese word. Yeah, mm. yeah. So when my father gave me his blessings, mm -hmm. that is when he inspired what I do yeah. now. Mm. So my father was like, I, "I don't want my son to be a comedian. I know you're funny, but." You can be a yeah, comedian, yeah. but the Chinese that you speak, can you use it to educate Chinese people about Africa? Okay. So I transition. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I transition from, from being that comedy guy, yeah. start telling stories about trying to change how Chinese people think of Africa. Mm -hmm. And my video started actually going viral. You know, mm -hmm. when I talk about real viral videos, mm -hmm. that was when I got an idea from my dad. And when mm. the videos started going viral, my father said, come home, come home, come and make more videos right. from Ghana. Yeah. 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 So I went home, made some few videos. Actually, I was actually the first guy who started talking about illegal mining by the Chinese. Oh, mm. yes. I, oh, wow. And they started like um, arresting the Chinese people. Yeah. Then my dad called me in China and said, like, are you safe? <laughs> the, video, <laughs> the, the video that you did, they're mm. arresting people here. I'm like, I, I'm safe. I'm safe. But then that grew into a bigger mm -hmm. something, mm. you know. But I was there and then I, I went back. I came home, went back to China and I was told that my father passed on. Yeah. Mm. In, whoa, whoa. In, in, I, was, I was in Ghana two weeks later. My father mm. passed on. But that alone, I, th I also changed my whole life. Yeah. Because I used to depend on my dad in terms of making mm. certain decisions. But I was like, you know what? No more listening to anyone. Like, I, I think two days ago, I was in my room and I was crying, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm just, this is why podcast is very important. Yes. I was in my room and I was crying. I'm like, I miss my dad. And I, my wife is like, Are you sure? Is there anything wrong? I said, like, I just miss my dad. I, yeah. I, just, I just wish, like, he can see the kind of person that. You, I've become yeah. right now. I wish I can talk to my dad. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, the idea that you gave yeah, me, yeah. this is what I where mm -hmm. it's going. And it's getting bigger than me. Mm -hmm. Because right now, like people ask me, you this guy doing this. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. This is my dad's idea. And I followed it up. Mm -hmm. But he was not here to see where the dream has gotten to. And I don't have anyone to talk to because. I feel like when I talk to people, they don't understand. Mm -hmm. It's only my father will understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I so I was just thinking about it and the tears started dropping. Just right. two days ago, tears started dropping. So I would say simple and short, whatever I am doing right now mm -hmm. started from my mom, but the bigger picture mm -hmm. was more like my dad. And yeah, we are coming to Japan. You have to, really you have to say something in Chinese. Story. Story. Well, wait, wait, before he does you that, have wait, to wait, say wait, something wait. in Chinese. Nisha Rao was Shoshama. Tasha, I was in Japan, right? Then I was in Japan, right? Then I was in Japan, right? Because I was in Japan, right? Nisha Rao was Shoshama. This, 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 <laughs> no, no, he's not showing up. Right. He's not showing no, up. No, 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 right. I'm not showing no up. I don't even know if, if Chinese, um, yeah. you know, what Mandarin. you do. Mandarin. They will, they will yeah. understand. They will understand. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, they understand for yeah. sure. But I want to say that that's a really beautiful story and you mm -hmm. for sure need to 
write a book and no matter what I believe, like my dad passed away in 2012. I always believe that spirit lives on and they're yep. always watching mm -hmm. us and guiding us. So mm -hmm. keep hearts and know that he's very proud. I'm very proud. And mm -hmm. also by the time this video ends, oh, Charlie, I need your real government name. Ah. You'll be giving me what Amaya and now you're telling me what Amaya is. Yeah. It's not even his name. Uh, name. His name. name. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, but I think that's, that's, I think that's very inspirational. For real. You know, and um, you know, when people watch you on YouTube, you know, yes, they love what you're doing, but when they get to know you as a person yeah. and get to hear your backstory, I think the level of, of respect just goes yeah, to another level. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're not just a, you know, a guy with a camera. Yep. Because anybody can take a camera and make a video. Yep. You know, but you know, you're you know, you humanize mm -hmm. it. You're, yes. you know, you're a, mm. yeah. Any advice to anyone like watching or listening that wants to pick up their camera, but yet, you know, they're facing challenges or, you know, like you have again like family members that are like, no. Or don't really aren't familiar with the content creating world or anything of that sort. What would you tell them? I would say that content creation is the new gold, but um, you gotta stay true to yourself whenever you wanna pick up the camera. Don't try to be what am I because you mm -hmm. can never be me. Mm -hmm. Be you. What do you represent? The content is actually around you. You know, um, I would say that your environment is your content. But a lot of people tend to look down upon their environment and start doing stuff that doesn't represent them. Mm -hmm. And when you keep doing that, you lose yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I'm telling. Like, I can't wear singlets and shoot a YouTube video because mm -hmm. that is me, me being me. Mm -hmm. You understand? The moment I'll be like, okay, I want to be like a suffer power. I'm not the fastest runner, mm -hmm. man. And this guy will start running fast. <laughs> yes. yeah. How can I catch up? Yeah, I can't exactly. catch up. Mm -hmm. But knowing that you know who you are, what you represent, staying consistent on YouTube is one of the hardest things to do. Right now, I feel like I'm even more comfortable. Yeah. But when I started, I was like a beast, man. Like I, I woke up the next morning, I'm like, what's the next content? Mm -hmm. You know, and that is the only way to go. And always don't, be like, oh, I need to buy a camera for me to start what I'm doing. Yep. Start with your phone. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you guys my little bit story? Yeah, I don't man, know go ahead, man. Go ahead. I started YouTube with Samsung S2. Mm -hmm. Now, when I started making the videos, people were telling me I'm not funny. I, I, I stopped, right? But then I still had that drive of creating videos. I didn't have it. I used to go and ask somebody, can you please help me film a video? They'll come and film the video. It will take three months for you to get your video. Edited two minute, yeah, take, yeah. two, three minute video. Yeah. You to take them three months. Mm -hmm. So the YouTube channel is there. You don't have the video to post. Guess what? I was like, you know, I still have to do this. I bought a microphone and I didn't have a camera. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so I had a, and, and I documented all these things. So it's, it's on YouTube. You can see it. Mm -hmm. So I bought a microphone. I told my audience I have a microphone. And there's this Chinese guy who is a friend of mine. He's a photographer. So I wait for him to finish his photography. Mm -hmm. And then he comes with his camera. Then I put my microphone. microphone yeah. And then as soon as we done filming, I take the card. And then I copy and I give him back. He goes and I take my, my, yeah, my mic. Yeah. Then we did that, you know, constantly. And then there's one guy. Who I've never met till today. He lives in America in Ethiopia, and he's like, I believe in your dreams, man. I, I feel like you're gonna be bigger than what you see yourself right now. Yeah. Can I be part of that dream? He bought me my first ever camera. I didn't know him anywhere. This guy gave money, he's like, Oh, this is the camera. And guess what? The camera came. And it doesn't fit my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fit my microphone. But hey, I have a camera yeah, now. Yeah. I use this camera. Um, we did our, my almost first two videos went viral with the camera. First two videos that I filmed with that camera went viral. Now I got a camera my father passed on. That camera has to go. So I sold the camera just to buy a plane ticket to go to Ghana. For my father's whoa, funeral. Whoa, whoa. I come back again in China whoa. with no camera. I now have my microphone. What did I have to do? I went back, 
Same, another Chinese guy. He started doing loan. So I was his representative. More like, if you're an African and you need money, you mm -hmm. have to come and meet this Chinese guy. And then you use something for collateral. Somebody came for money, used his camera as a collateral. I didn't have money to pay. So he's like, oh, take that camera. Mm. And that's how I had a camera that fits my microphone. Whoa, whoa. Canon 7D. Whoa. I, I wow. have 17D. I have, <laughs> I have all these things documented. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes when you're telling your story, people are like, they don't believe. But my YouTube channel, if you go down, mm -hmm. you'll see. You will see every mm -hmm. video because anything that happens, I used to share. So you just don't have to have everything. Start from somewhere. Mm hmm. And keep doing it. All you need to do is to have a dream yes. and believe in it. Yeah. That's it. And the key yeah, is man, just yeah, to start. Preach, just preach, start. preach, brother. Yes. Yeah. Preach, preach, preach on. Hey. Preach. Yeah, man, yeah, and then, yeah. and then love now, it, it. this is where my husband's like, I'm about to make you sweat a little. Okay. Oh, oh feel free. Feel Are free. you ready? Pour me water. <laughs> okay, so like we yeah. get asked a lot about, you know, how do we balance wearing many hats? So you're a husband as yeah. well. Wow. Okay. I'm a husband. I made it in life. <laughs> oh. um, yeah. Let's touch on how do you balance, you know, marriage, content creating, and the many other hats you wear, other businesses, every venture that you have. How yeah. do you stay in tune with like keeping the spark alive, like dating each other. How do you not work too much? How do you say, okay, yeah, I need, I just, just, just wait a minute. Take your time, a Take your time <laughs> and work it in. At what age did you get married? Eh? What age did you get married? I got married a year ago, right? Yeah. A year ago. All right, so, okay, now so I'm still new, you know? Yeah, so it's still, it's still, it's still fresh. You're learning as you go. So yeah. now, yeah. since it's still fresh, how do you balance everything? So, you know, in my mind, my wife, I'm still dating my wife. Like, it, it feels like how, we, it's still fresh mm -hmm. for me, you know? Um, one of the things that I, I told her, mm -hmm. it's like, I'm not with you because I love you so much. So I'm just being honest with you. But I, I'm in love with you because I, I'm with you because I needed someone who grounds me. Mm. There should be, I feel like there should be like a platform where the love does not fade away. Okay. You see, seeing somebody like, if I tell you my wife is one of the hard working person that I've ever met, you never believe it, right? But I wake up at night and I'll see her editing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, God damn it, I'm even sleeping, you know? <laughs> so it's like, when I see, Certain things that she does, that draws me more close to her. Mm -hmm. But when you talk about finding a balance in terms of your, because to me, I feel like I'm, I still have a long way to go. That's why I needed someone who grounds me. Mm -hmm. Don't know if I'm making sense. And finding a balance everywhere I go, if I, like I'm in the Caribbean, my first two countries I went alone, the remaining four countries I had to bring her. Mm -hmm. To be by my side because I need her. You understand? It's not like okay, um, I'm 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 shooting and I go back home to go and spend time. And, no, can you come and we continue what you're doing? Because at the end of the day, I believe that what I'm doing is a short time, so I don't have enough time mm -hmm. to you know go out and travel. But I can. You see, my job is traveling. Right. So it's like you travel and you make money at the same time. Right. That's my work. But traveling is also what? Fine. Mm -hmm. It's not work, work, work all the time. It's, it's, you get to see all the things. So my balance is having my wife with me to travel with me so that when I mm -hmm. go out, finish my videos, it's, I still come back home like my wife is sitting home waiting for me. She's your comfort. Not like my wife is in Ghana. Right. Mm -hmm. Or my wife is in Kenya waiting for me or stuff like that. Right. So me, my balance is like making sure because when my wife is me, from her flight ticket and everything, that's my responsibility. Do you understand? So that's how I see my balance in terms of like going home, seeing my wife there with me all the time. That's it. Because I'm not an outgoing person. You might see me, I laugh a lot on camera, mm -hmm. but behind <laughs> the scene, I'm sorry. No, you mean you like to stay at home. You're more of like uh, a chill vibe. That, that's me. Okay. If you try to be asking me to go out with you, you're disturbing me. 
Mm. And okay. I think my my yeah, that's, I wish do my wait, wife could answer this question. Not worry. If it's not work, if it's not work, then wife I'm will not going answer. Anywhere. She will answer. We're gonna have a chat. Yeah. No, definitely. If if it's not work, <laughs> I mean, I'm not stepping out. I mean, uh, I kind of I kind of grudge you in a sense because um, your job is you know traveling involve a lot of traveling exactly, and my job used to involve a lot of traveling, but I didn't get to see anything. I see the hotel and the track. But yeah, you get to see everything. But, uh, so but, I, I, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm a bit envious. You know, I lo- bit no, no, please don't envy me. You know, <laughs> <laughs> see, you won't, you won't believe that. Like, I get so pressured when I travel. Like, I go to a place. I know that I've been here before, mm. but I didn't see whatever was happening around. Yeah, because like, people think it's fun when mm. you are out there, but they forget that like. It's money because for mm-hmm. me, right. one of my biggest secrets is like I don't want anyone to dilute my content. I want to be authentic. I want to be able to put my feet on the ground. I want to wear anything that I want to mm-hmm. do my thing without somebody telling me that oh, you can't dress this way to shoot this video. You know, when you work with brands, they'll mm-hmm. give you the money. Right. But don't forget that you have to work the way the brands want. want. you to, yes. But I don't want because the people that are watching my videos. The reason why they are in love with me is the authenticity of my videos. Mm-hmm. As soon as I start bringing in brands, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. lose everything. You know, which means there's going to be a distance between program, your program, me the, and the uh, audience. Mm-hmm. And okay. I don't want that. I want them to feel me. I want them to know that this is still our son, our whatever right. brother and all of that. So, yeah, that's that's... So your approach is different. So what if someone's watching now, Mm. but they are interested in having the brands and as well as still remaining themselves? How do you evolve in that aspect? Like, how do you balance that? I'm going to tell you, don't sign exclusivity. Um, You can do a one-off. Like, I do Um, one-off. But even when when I sign with a brand, if I don't tell you that this video is paid for you, no. I can show you so many videos that I've done that the videos were paid for. But the way I created the video, you might not know. So I, I don't want, I don't like to push things on people's faces. Mm-hmm. Like buy this from this person because now. Yeah, so you control your content. I, so yeah. I, thank you. So yeah. always have power over the brand. Mm-hmm. Know that the brand came for you. Mm-hmm. So you tell the brand what you want to do for them. Not mm-hmm. the brand telling you. So, I think the brand money, trust me, it's so good. Right. Because, you know, you get it, boom, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, you can flip that money and all of that. Yeah. You can do what? You can flip it. Invest the money. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's good, but find a balance. Okay. Find a balance with um, the way you push brands on the faces of your audience. It can turn them off sometimes. Right. Okay. But be smart. I think you guys should come for tips. Because all sometimes I do like, um, I create a content in a way that you get the story. Mm. Okay, I'll give you an example. When I came to Jamaica, so I did a video, um, which I met a guy who, what do you call it, uh, gave me a thousand dollar and I gave yeah, him ten thousand yeah. dollars. So when I filmed the video, I'm like, wow, I have a brand that really wants to work with me. I'm supposed to do a video for them, but I'm in Jamaica. I've not been able to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? Can I chip this particular art in the video? When you're watching the video, you might not think that, like in that session I was doing an ad. Guess what? The, The company calls me and tells me that. My goodness, we've never had like, the, this number of downloads <laughs> in a very oh, long time. Oh, right. mm-hmm. But when I was filming the video, the video was not an advert. Mm-hmm. But I felt the need of why not mention the brand yeah. right here? Because at that moment, it's something that has to deal with money. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm going to give money to this person. I'm broke. So, okay, can I just say, because I was broke, I had to get money from the bank. Yeah. So it's, I didn't, put the art in front of you, but it just came out naturally. Right. And the company is happy. I am happy. Mm-hmm. You get paid and then you move forward. And your audience are happy as well because they still don't seem like anything has changed. Thank you. So the key is 
be you and don't think that be don't overthink the fact that because of have a brand deal yep, yep. that you need to change all of your content exactly. to satisfy that. Exactly. Okay. Mm. So what that. what have you learned since you've been in Jamaica apart from what you've been hearing? I, I, I've learned <laughs> that Asa, Asa, Asafa is so popular in Jamaica <laughs> <laughs> because I I spend time with Asafa and everywhere I go, everybody's like, "Did you bring Asafa here? Where's Asafa?" <laughs> oh my goodness! Like everywhere. And yeah. let me tell you something that you don't need to change about yourself. I think the people find you to be so humble. And they love that about you. Mm-hmm. I'm just telling you this. You know, one, if I'm telling you, like, I've been to almost every place in here. There's mm-hmm. no place that I went to that nobody yeah. mentioned your name. Yeah. Like, I was in Portland. Like, where's, they look around me. Yeah, as soon man. as they see me. That's why I will always feed you, man. Ah, you come thank here, you. <laughs> I will always feed you. Thank you. And um, yeah. apart from that, I would say that, let me say this. When God was creating Jamaica, I think um, trying to create other islands, maybe he had a creative bucket in his hand. Right. And then when he got to Jamaica, he slipped and then yeah, sleep, everything, everything, just everything like, fell in Jamaica. <laughs> so like yeah. everything is in Jamaica, you yeah. know, like it, it's, but my favorite, I'll go for Portland. Mm-hmm. Portland, yes. man. Portland. Yeah, and man. Portland, Portland? And Portland is one of the uh, untouched. You know, parishes in Jamaica. It's 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 one of the most beautiful parishes I in Jamaica. Couldn't believe it. You know, like we at, we we started driving from Blue Mountain. Mm-hmm. God, and it was raining. Oh, well, you drove that way. Oh, because I, wow. okay, I wanted yeah. to. You get you know, to see. You get to I wanted see. To see it. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Like I loved it. Man, you're seeing more of Jamaica than me. Right, because yeah. we still need to explore us a lot. We need to do you know? favorite Jamaican dish so far is. Is that a dish? Uh, plantain porridge? Is I mean, that a dish? It's, it's breakfast. Plantain porridge. The plantain, pla- the plantain, plantain. Plantain porridge. Do you know plantain, plantain porridge? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Plantain yeah. porridge. Mm-hmm. That's your fave. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because they have banana porridge. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, but, but yeah. plantain porridge. Mm-hmm. Like I'm going to take... Wait, 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 is it banana? Because you, banana. you guys call the same thing. Wait. No, 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 no. You guys no. always mix up plantain, plantain and banana. Porridge. Porridge. I know, I know what you mean. So when I, what was it? During COVID, yeah. the small, the small banana that you're no, no, plantain. No, 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 that's not banana. That's, I know okay, banana. no way. <laughs> so I know banana and I know we, plantain. We're there and I used to call it the same thing. And he's like, no, banana. And he's like, it ripes and you can eat it. I said, so it's really they're a banana. They're talking about green banana, guys. you guys are eating like, guys, they're talking like, about like, green <laughs> banana. No, we're talking about the green Put, if you put the <laughs> banana down for you know, a while, it, it will ripe and, and it will look it. just just the no, same but, as but, No, but 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 uh, banana you green don't have planting to. is bigger. Plant yeah. planting is bigger. Yeah. No, so, we're talking about no, a green banana. But, the but small you, did one. Did you know that planting, ripe planting, it was green before it got ripe? Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. So same with the ripe banana, it was green. So green. it's the same. So do you call it green banana or green, green plantain? Banana. We have green banana. We have green plantain. Yeah. Well, you have green banana as well, yeah? Yeah. So, but she called it green banana plantain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, sir, I was wild. I was like, wait, so it right? Like you can eat it like an actual <laughs> banana? I was so yeah. confused. I'm like, I'm like, and then you guys boil it when it's green and you eat it. No yeah. wonder it's so mushy. Yeah, yeah, but you know, like in, in Ghana, we don't eat the, the, the <laughs> green, yeah, green plantain, mm. a green banana, banana. Yeah. balls. We don't. We rather go for the the ripe. The, no, the, 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 the green, green plantain. plantain. Yes. plantain yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I also done something that I, I found it mm-hmm. a bit strange when I came in here. Yeah, <laughs> my, my yeah. mom said. My That's mom said strange. it. Strange. She's like, it's very strange. Yeah, yeah I, find, I find it strange, but <laughs> yeah. I, I love. But it's the same, and it's crazy. It's the same. It's the same. You know what I mean? A lot, a lot of the things are pretty much identical, just a different name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Ghana and Jamaica. Yeah. You know, a lot of the food. Um, the rice watches, and peas. Yeah. Watches, rice and peas. Rice and peas. Yeah. So, yeah. so you know bolo I mean? is so, sorrel. Yeah. 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 The parties are like meat pies yes. in Ghana. Yeah. What other major, like what other major and very different, um, like similarities and differences do you find between Ghana and Jamaica? Similarities? Similarities is besides like, food. Um, when you talk about the market, the way of life of the people, mm. right. the way they drive, like he, they drive in Ghana. Um, with the bus, what's it called? Mm, yeah, one yeah, already, yeah, bus, one yeah. already. You call it tra <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the market. Yeah. Like literally, it, it just, feels you like just, you just make a video <laughs> and show it to somebody. They would know where. Exactly. You are. I mean, yeah. I, I I was at the market. I took I a photo and thing. I asked. 
where I might be like, oh, they started mentioning marketing in different <laughs> part of Africa, but I was in Jamaica. Yeah. So it, it, it's a, when it comes to differences, there's not so there's much, not much different. There's not much. It's not. There's not so much difference between us. I don't At know. All. Besides, I mean, patois and like the accent. I mean, that's what I always say because. Obviously, I'm Ghanaian. Yeah. I moved here. And people used to always ask me, like, how do you handle living in Jamaica? Like, do you, is it like an adjustment? And, you know, I always say, like, I mean, I'm cultured. I was born in Ghana. So mm. it's not a big difference to me. It just yep. feels like, yep. like home. Yep. You know, so, yeah. Any other questions before did, we wrap did you, this did up? You, did you find it weird when you, um, when you, when you, when you, See, like the I don't know if I should say lighter skin people speaking patwa. No. I think oh, oh like uh, the oh brun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> so it, it was more of a uh, I learned more about the history. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was not really shocked about yeah coming to the Caribbean yeah. in terms of I'm um, seeing. Uh, the Indians. Mm -hmm. I met an Indian lady that speaks Patois. Yeah, because Jamaica, Jamaica is not Spanish. necessarily yeah. like a black, black country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's and out of many dude, one people. Right. So, so it's, you know. It was so funny. She was like, I'm a big fan of you, Maya, but I want to move to Guyana because I feel like there are more Indians in Guyana. Now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So, even, even Chinese yeah, 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 born in yeah. Jamaica and they speak yeah, their Jamaica and, yeah, and all that stuff. Yeah. So, Exactly. You know, it's just that uh, when it comes to Jamaica, the blacks overshadow everybody. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah. Like in the minds of so many people, they think Jamaica is just black. You know? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. That yeah. that is true. Yeah. That makes that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, man. So safe to say you will be back. Hopefully, you know, we can work on travel being a lot easier. So what do you think could change with that? Right. With the traveling. Apart I think, from I think, visas. I think, I think apart from <laughs> Yeah, because I don't think flight? that will ever change. No, no. What about direct flight? The, the direct yeah. flight. You see, like if there is a direct flight, I can just come to Jamaica for weekend yeah. and go right. back. You yeah. know, could just take your wife to Jamaica you know, and go to the beach. on a vacation. You, balance, you know, <laughs> like, find can, a balance. Can, find yeah. a balance. balance. <laughs> yeah, I mean, see, there is a lot that you know we can do mm -hmm. if we. Uh, you know, break these barriers between mm -hmm. us in terms of direct flight, visa mm -hmm. issues and all of that. Because I think people are yearning. You know, like when you go to Ghana, there are people that just speak like Jamaicans, but yes. they've never been to Jamaica. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They, yeah. They, they, yeah. They're yearning, I, I've, I've they're seen yearning to be here so badly. Yeah. But I mean, recently Bahamas became visa-free for Ghanaians and mm -hmm. all of that. You know Jamaica and, is as well? Yeah. Jamaica is. Jamaica is visa-free. Yeah, for has, Ghanaians. Has always, just yeah, to right? get here. Yeah. Then people are jubilating. I'm like, Check how to get there. <laughs> before, <laughs> check how to get there before you start jubilating. So it's just, and also like, I, I, I wish they wouldn't see us as criminals yeah. whenever we, we're coming in here. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that is the uh, biggest part of it all because I think as an African traveling within this uh, region, I felt like a, a criminal, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of, I mean, when I arrived mm -hmm. in Trinidad, um, my visa was denied, you know, like they gave me the visa and then they check, oh, he's an African, blah, 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 blah. Then they, they canceled the visa and then they had to uh, stamp in again. So I, if you check my passport, I have two visas for entry in Trinidad, but I, I went to Trinidad and people fell in love with me. Mm -hmm. And now anytime I arrive in Trinidad, they're like, oh, welcome back. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are here again. Oh. But the first time I arrived, you know, because of stereotypes, Mm -hmm. they, they they thought I was a criminal and all of that. I mean, in Barbados, the same thing happened. We were told that we cannot, um, mm -hmm. how do you call it? Um, we go to Barbados, mm -hmm. they were like, oh, what happened in Barbados? It's like, what shows that you're going to leave the island? Oh mm -hmm. my goodness. You know, I had a ticket that yeah. I was leaving Barbados to Jamaica. They said, no. Um, when we were leaving Barbados to Suriname, I had to go to Suriname for an event. Um, we were about to board the plane. They brought all our bags out saying that the the visa that I have for Suriname is fake. So, we, yeah. So, wow. my wife got so mad, you know, like, you know, he had yeah. to, you know, mm -hmm. fight with the people there. And then they they said, okay, the plane is um, going to be on hold. They did all the arrests that they did. They said there's nothing wrong with the visa. So, they actually discriminated against us because mm -hmm. we had the, you know, um, so many countless, you know. We really need to do better yeah. as, yeah. as people. I must say one thing. 
I must I must applaud you and ask you a question at the same time. Um <laughs> because here in Jamaica we we used to before like YouTube and Instagram and other stuff, we used to only get one one outlook of Africa. Mm. And it's what they want to show us. So a lot of people have been brainwashed, you know, about Africa and what Africa is, how Africa look. You know, everybody think Africa is just dirt. Yeah. You know, what I mean, on, on this side of the the world, that was before Instagram and social media. So what you're doing, you know, showcasing Africa, you know, I must applaud you on that. You know, you are changing people's outlook, you know, in Africa, and you know. It's very entertaining, and <laughs> the entertaining part is when you go to all of those tribes, <laughs> and after ask you, you don't ever get scared. I don't. So it's like I'm very, very open minded when it comes mm-hmm. to creating videos. I'm willing to embrace everybody, you know, mm-hmm. no matter where you come from, and mm-hmm. that's what I always tell people. Whenever you're creating, put your own things that you believe in aside. Like today, I, you know, I, when I came to your house, I've tucked in. I don't know if you saw it, my clothes were inside. Mm-hmm. When I went to the Rastafari. Yeah, yeah, today. yeah, yeah. And when I got there, they said I should put my clothes inside. Okay. So I had to put my clothes inside. Mm-hmm. Went to the church, <laughs> Bobo Shanti. So we're praying together. Right. Then from there, I came to see you. So it's it's more like um the mind that I, I see certain mm-hmm. things. That's how I go with it. I mean, some of them are some, some I, I things know, they do so, is yeah. crazy, man. Like I'm telling you, like <laughs> some are, some are, <laughs> some, some are crazy. I'm, I'm being honest with you because this is a podcast. Yeah. But some, some of the things you see, like God, but I'm yeah. like, you know what? Okay, I'm here. Yeah, it's just because I mean, I, I go to a place that I go. We gotta cook with no spices. Mm-hmm. It's just water. Yeah. So you kill That's the, yes, yeah, you kill yeah. the goats. You chop it into pieces. You, fry it you boil, in the water, boil it. No, it no, fry. no, no, no. Fry, it. fry will be good, man. <laughs> <laughs> fry will be good. This is just boil. And coming yeah. from country that yeah. everything we eat, there has to be spices. Yes. And it's a, and you have to eat. I'm like, are you sure I have to eat? And guess what? Where they kill the goats, that's the same plate that you have you to eat, eat on. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Okay, you so say Jesus. So you wow. have to be very open minded. So you gotta be. Yeah. You, you gotta. Like they they say we have to shower and I'm like oh wow we're gonna shower together <laughs> so I was, with the I, dirt I, I was, <laughs> and I'm like how are we gonna shower we actually should gonna shower with the with the red clay yeah the clay the dirt yeah the, the oil of uh, the the cow you know it's like cow oil okay together with the clay wow so they mix it together so water does not touch your body so man for I, I showered for like one week. Right, because the thing was still on my skin. Wow. Yeah, oh, that, but you know, like strong, yeah. for me, it's just I'm telling the stories in an African way. Yes. So I was like, but there's one thing I couldn't do, man. Wow. Tell me to be under the couch for the couch. Well, that must have been an experience yeah. Yeah. I'm like, to ah, change your ah, ear color. Ah, nah, nah, that one, that one, I'm sorry, man. I'm <laughs> sorry. I thought but you was going to do that I, one. I have to commend you because you <laughs> literally live. <laughs> Their yeah. experience, yeah, yeah. live it, and you are able to tell the story. And I think that's why everything's so authentic mm-hmm. that yeah. you do. Yeah. Because I mean, I'm open minded, but I think some <laughs> stuff I would be like, a lot of it I would decline. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's, hey, it's good it, to it know. Co- it cost me my relationship, by the way. I didn't tell you, eh? No. Maybe you want me to talk about that. So, <laughs> <laughs> I've suffered though. You said I've suffered. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to do a video at the Himba Village. And you know, women leave their boobs on and yeah. all of that. So I got there and I took photos with some of them. You because, saw all those boobs because I don't spent know what to do. A whole night. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I love you, man. <laughs> I don't know why we are best friends. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, I see all these boobs and all of that. I'm like, oh my goodness, I've never been in a world like this, man. <laughs> <laughs> felt like a kid in a candy shop so I started taking photos you know yeah. because I was creating mm. so I took photos and I posted creating. one I posted one of the photos oh gosh <sighs> I got a message uh, this <laughs> this is the end of the relationship <laughs> <laughs> what I'm telling you my wife broke up with me I, I'm not I'm not joking man my wife broke up with me like I had to fly to Kenya to renew the whole, I'm just gonna. I'm sorry, it was just for videos, <laughs> man. 
I'm telling you, my wife woke up with me for like you three days. You just got a little too excited. Whoa. I was not too excited. I was Whoa. just, listen, I would, see, if I had anything to do, I prob- that, those pictures would not come online. So <laughs> I probably would have taken the pictures too, but probably would send it to my wife. I would have sent it to my wife. Maybe. Oh, wow. See, when I came back from Trinidad, I was going to say how we need to talk about Trinidad experience. How I, I, I came back from Trinidad and I was telling my wife, first thing I did, hey, I call my wife and I'm like, no, Trinidad is not for me. Yeah, I'm coming <laughs> yeah, back home. I can, I can understand because yeah. that's what you do for exactly. you know, living. Content. And that but was the, the culture. That's the culture in Trinidad. That's what they do. So it's like you're showing what When When I was in Trinidad, you know, like I, I've been very famous in the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. I met so many people like, Mwah, they, were, they were all kissing my, yeah. you know, I mean. I've got to know that that's the culture. Yeah. So when I came back home and I was telling my wife that, hey, when I went to Trini, I had so many kisses, man. <laughs> it's the way oh, you communicate. Oh, no, it's man. the way you says it. The way you're oh, communicating it. I, I got Guys, myself into trouble. You should you know? see her face right now. She's not <laughs> amused. <laughs> She's not amused. <laughs> you know, but but that's 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 the thing that I love about my wife. You know, mm. she gives you that reaction for you to know that. Don't you dare, you yeah. know? So like, you know, I, I cost me my relationship. I went back, apologized, and yeah, we, we move on. It's never happened again. So now, yeah, man. whenever I go Make to any stronger, tribe, stronger than ever. Hey, I go to any tribe, they <laughs> boobs on, I close my eyes. <laughs> 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 oh man, and, and a lot of the tribes are boob, are uh, why, are you, why are you smiling so hard? I, I'll take you to one of those. Take me with you. Take me with you. His eyes are just like, wow, please. I want oh, to go. Man. But you know, it's you know, it's, it's been places. it's been great, man. And you know, we we have to do this. You know, again, maybe yeah. after you do another you know, another tour and you come back yeah, to Jamaica, definitely. you know, we yeah. can sit down and. Updates on life. Yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, you've been traveling around Jamaica doing, yeah. you know, um, a lot of things. I see you going around always in Jamaica shirts and buying stuff Repping. and all that stuff. Representing. So I'm going to give you an authentic shirt. I'm going to give you an authentic oh, wow. jersey. Oh, oh wow. wow. That you this ran one, in? This one, I ran in this one. Hey. But so, you can get some speed. Autographs. So you will get some speed. <laughs> You get some speed and Wait, you know what I mean. You won't, you, won't, you can't buy this in stores. What's up? We need a signature. Yeah, I signed right. it. I signed uh, it. I signed it. It's not, it's not running away. <laughs> wow. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> I, so for sure. Are you, are you not scared that after this, this I'll be the store. fastest runner? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm retired. <laughs> let me tell. Let me. Let me. Um, warning to Miss Trudy after this, because you know in Jamaica, the, all the women love him. Like everyone say, I have. You know how much mates you have for your husband? Mm. So after this, handcuff ah. him. Too. Yeah, when, he, when he put on that shirt, might be, might be trouble. But, 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 but I, 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 I know this video is about him, but how do you manage to keep him, you know, then in secret? How do I manage to keep him? Yeah. I mean, one, I know he's a legend, but to me, he's Asafa Powell. He's my husband. You know, he's the, I'm like, what's up, then? <laughs> Um, how do I manage to keep him? Yeah, he's a Safa and I love him for who he is. Sometimes I even forget, not that I'm trying to take focus away from what he's done. He's human to me as well. So I mm. don't, not that I don't idolize him, but, you know, we have a good friendship. I think the foundation of our marriage is we are friends. Like you will see us in a corner, kikiing and ha ha And again, I'm going to go back to like, we balance things, right? So... Like, I will message him and it'll be like me flirting with him and he'll just blush, like, you know, because I give a lot of dirty jokes. Like, mm-hmm. that's just me. And <laughs> he, as a preacher's kid, is like that's so uncomfortable. So, like, even if mm-hmm. it's just the little things like that, like, that's how I, but I, I keep each other grounded. I, I think um, it also comes with, like, where you're coming from, you know. Yeah. I think with the pastor's kids, mm-hmm. we, <laughs> we, when we're staying with one, we know that this mm-hmm. is, like, I, I mean, I think you should big up the mom and dad, you know. I will, but it wasn't an easy road. I won't lie. <laughs> <laughs> this boy gave me trouble. He gave me trouble. So yeah, but, but, you know, reason I ask you a question like that because like I anytime I post a video with Asafa, yeah, when I go through the comments, be like, ah, uh, I'm not even. I'm not even concentrating on the run and my, <laughs> my eyes is on us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, okay, so if we, I want to answer it that way. 
I am so sure. I think any woman out there that is either with anyone that's famous or anyone that like is of a certain status or even just a day to day mm. uh, man, you have to be sure of what you of who you are as a person, yeah. right? So for me, yeah, he's a Safa, but I'm also Alicia, right? Yay. So I know that. Bop, bop. I bring a lot and there's short a fire, <laughs> short fire. <laughs> that's a great addition to me, you yeah. know, and like him being with me has really helped, um, not in a sense elevate him, but really helped him grow. A lot of people would tell you that if you met a Safa prior to me, he really didn't talk. You wouldn't get much out of him. So I know him being with me has brought another side out of him and a different side of confidence as well. So I mean, not to toot my own horn, but I, you have mm. to believe in you as a woman that there's one of you and only one of you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, man. That, there <laughs> goes my... There goes <laughs> my baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, man. You're going to drink some water. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, All right. you know, guys, that's going to be it, you know, with, you know, what am I... Uh, what, what's, Please, what's your real name, man? a government name. What's your oh, wow. government name? My government name is... Bethold, Corbina, oh, Winkler, okay. Akon. It's crazy, right? Yeah. I can't even Bethold. pronounce my own names. What do your mom Bethold. call you? That's what I'm telling you. That's what do your mom call you? My mom, <laughs> my mom will call me Corbina Akon. Oh, Corbina, Corbina, so Corbina Akon, that's the names Corbina. that I, I'm yeah. trying to have it on my passport, but it's going to be hard. Yeah, so I was named after a white guy, by the way. Mm. Yeah. Oh, no. Bethold didn't give it away at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was named after a white guy. That explains so the dancing, I, man. Yeah, I, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I, 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 I landed in Germany for um, uh, an event, and the guy who came to pick me up started like speaking German. Oh, I thought oh. because of the name. Because, because of the name, he thought oh. I was a German. You know? Now you have to learn German. How often no. do you visit back China? Yeah. When was the last time you went back to China? I thought I was in uh, 2018. I can't oh, go back to China now, you know. Oh. I can't go back. I am. I was actually invited to China uh, just this week, end of the month. Um, you know, um, I I work with Alibaba sometimes. You know, so they, mm. they wanted me to go to China, but mm -hmm. no, nah, I told yeah. me that behind the scenes. Yeah. yeah, I can't go right. to China now. Nice, okay. nice, nice. All right. Yeah, man. So I have to thank you, man, because you. um, you know, for reaching out to us and guys, he told us that when we go back to Ghana. He's gonna take care of us. Oh, this means he has to be outside. Which outside? You have that to take us you outside. Have to be outside, with us. outside. You have to show yeah. us. Where do you want to go? You have, to show, you have to show us. You have to show us. Trudy will take Trudy will take us around. <laughs> all right. Yeah, but all just right. let me know. I mean, I don't want you, when you come to Ghana, I don't want you to be going all the places, man. I I show you the real men we'll on the ground. Yeah, we, we want to yeah, see we'll that. We want to see that. We want to see that. And because we know what nightlife look like. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we do. No more nightlife. No I more know. nightlife. <laughs> no more. I don't want to see any more of that. No more dirty December. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, uh, oh, gosh. Yeah. I'm stressed. Oh, I'm still recovering. Oh. Still recovering. <laughs> and it's what? Almost March? Looks <laughs> bad. It's exaggerating. Yeah, but man. Yeah, man. So we will see you guys in another episode. Thanks to... Kwabena. Kwabena. We're gonna cause that's actually Kwabena his for, name too. Kwabena. For joining Kwabi. us, you know, on this, you know, um, in the new year, 2024. 24, 24 is gonna be a great year. You know, as you can see, my wife is looking beautiful. There's no more babies. The new, mm, no, no more, more babies. babies. Yeah. We will see about that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. And don't forget <laughs> to like and subscribe to the Fast Lane Lifestyle. I'm out.